Hello folks, I'll be starting in uh, just a few minutes, so um, sit back and here I come. I'm setting up to uh, color the cartoon from yesterday and uh, should be on in just a minute. So um, thank you for joining me. You can see I'm sitting up here with my uh, Wacom tablet at the drawing table. Back in just a sec.
Okay, folks, just about ready to get started. Just a sec. Okay, here we go. I'm Daryl Cagle, and today I'm drawing, um, I'm doing the color for the cartoon that I finished yesterday afternoon. Yesterday we did a six-hour stream. I did uh, one cartoon revision and one uh, uh, fresh new cartoon, and this is the cartoon that I'm working on today. It is despots around the world that are uh, pleased to see uh, that they can make Apple uh, break into iPhones with just a court order. So um, let's get going. And I've got to uh, I've got to clean this up, take out all the hickeys, pump up the contrast so it looks like a an ink drawing, and um, then uh, endeavor to color this thing. So I should be here for a couple of hours. I hope you will. Uh, chime in and chat and have something to say and I appreciate any follows and I didn't announce this one anywhere except to just start streaming so actually it's probably only the people that already followed that are already know to be here we only have a few people but uh, hey thank you to those of you that are here and let's uh, get going on this so I just pieced together the parts of the scan bump up the contrast a couple of times you would think that making 100% contrast would make the thing into line art, but it does not. It wants to resist going all the way to 100%. Excuse me, noisy. Had to move my uh, microphone. Sorry about that. Got a good grab. No. Okay, there, I got it. Think. Put that in a new window and give it one more shot of contrast. I see, I have some muck happening up here. Okay. Image size, 1,000, width, 8. Don't constrain proportions, make it 5.5 .5 there. And we've got this, which needs to be, wait until it's done thinking. I'll make it into a bitmap. Okay, and we'll save. OK. 
comments yet, but a few people are watching. Nice to have you here. that saved. Zena Monohari writes, yellow doing hard work yen. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. Okay. So this is a uh, bitmap now and I will just uh, go in and clean up all these hickeys which is just the common housekeeping you gotta do and this is for some reason I think uh, I mushed my hand through this one a lot more than usual it looks a little bit dirty uh, we will clean it up the old-fashioned way And please don't hesitate to chat. I'm going to be here for a couple of hours coloring up this puppy. This needs to get out of here by... Oh, probably by 1 o'clock Pacific time. Being as that's 4 o'clock for the East Coast papers that are putting their weekend editions to bed. So... I've kind of pushed this about as late as I can before the weekend. Too much stuff on my plate. It's a cute one though, it's fun to draw the despots. Of course the point of this cartoon is that uh, if the courts in America can force Apple to write software that allows them to break into phones, then so can the courts in other countries, including China, where uh, Apple probably does more business than they do in America. And it would be bad for freedom around the world because despots, they are bad bastards. Even though they're bad, they don't deserve all of these little hickeys. I was thinking about making Kim Jong-un's eyes a little smaller. Because he's got a lot of uh, face area to actual face ratio. Maybe I will do that. Let's tr give it a try. So I'll grab the eyes. And we'll free transform. Make them just a little bit smaller there. Oh, better. It looks more like him. Should have done that before. Why didn't I do that before? Oh, yeah! That's better! Apply. So, part of this cleanup process is look for what you did wrong and fix that. Yeah, those, that eye business needed to be done. Clean it up over here. So, also, another reason that not as many people are watching is that uh, Kegel.com site is down with hacker attacks again, hacker attacks again today. So, uh, my nice little pop-up window on K 
kegel.com that says Daryl is drawing live. Come watch. Little pop up window is not working today with kegel.com down. So, what an exciting exclusive arrangement you have to watch me color today. You note that a lot of the little junk that I fix when I come in and do the cleanup is stuff that I did wrong in my drawing. Perhaps like the eyes too big on Lil Kim. Finished up. And uh, thank you, silent people, for joining me. See, I do have my uh, overhead camera here. Hello, Soul Beggar. So this is what the desktop looks like. I'm here drawing on my Wacom tablet. It's me. Yeah, that's probably a view you don't need. But just so that you know, here's the big Wacom tablet. I'm drawing on it. Hi, Soul Beggar. No, I haven't quit streaming. I'm back. This morning I'm uh, I'm coloring the cartoon that I drew yesterday. Just because the day ran out yesterday. And it's nice to see a, couple, uh, a dozen or so people watching. A little more than a dozen. Had one on YouTube as well. I think Iran needs to reverse here. Note that I will talk more if you chat with me. And I give you a big thank you if you follow. Lots of little bits of crud to clean up. This is just regular housekeeping that I do each time I make a scan. I haven't been putting much of this regular housekeeping stuff into the stream, but I figured, what the hell, I'm sitting here doing it. Might as well stream while I do it. When I've got this cleaned up, I'll make it into CMYK. 
and add the colors and layers behind the black line. Quite sure what the next cartoon is going to be. I always have a bunch of lousy ideas here on post it notes that never quite make the cut. Soul Beggar writes What's the political agenda of your cartoon? I just loged. Well, I guess if you loged, you're in the good seats, huh? Um. The point is that Apple is right, and we can't have forks demanding uh, access to our information, or I, I should say forcing companies to build uh, backdoors and do surveillance on the part of law enforcement. as this court order demands that Apple does. Uh, court order demands that Apple write a new system for the iPhone that can be placed on the iPhone in order to thwart the security on the iPhone. And the cartoon points out that it's a slippery slope and next you can expect all of these bastards in the picture to also give court orders. demand that Apple conduct their surveillance as well. So here's Putin, here's Chinese President Xi Jinping. China, where I suppose Apple probably does more business than they do in the USA, huh? And China, where they have not yet had their courts uh, demand that uh, phone operating systems be written in order to do their surveillance for them. Soul Bigger writes, hum, they already do it. Your government don't pay enough for the data. Nope, they don't do it. That's what the, the news story in the case is all about. And since I pose it, that's the purpose of this cartoon. Oh, that is a bit of muck from my pieces of the scan's not lining up perfectly. So let's fix Putin's man boob here. Wouldn't want to get Putin's man boob wrong. Oof, there's another error from putting these together. Okay, let's fix this one. I was pretty sloppy putting this together this morning. Drink my uh, Flint, Michigan water. So, folks, there are people watching here. You can say something. And, uh, appreciate you being here. I'm 
presuming that hell also has quirks. I haven't asked. Pretty close to having this guy cleaned up. It usually takes me about 10 minutes. This one is uh, dirtier and more complex than usual. Maybe I just didn't spend enough time uh, scanning it correctly. So messy up here. That is uh, some sloppy scanning. This is this. Doing this with the eraser tool. Lots of muck. You hear some bumps, that's my Wacom stylus bumping my microphone. Sorry about that. You know, there aren't a lot of uh, world leaders that I can draw where people know who they are. So I was kind of limited to these guys. They are perhaps not the best choices, but I think they were the best choices that I could draw caricatures of without having to have name tags on them. I did put country tags on them. Perhaps even these guys aren't well known enough to the readers to go without the country tags. I get this cleaned up shortly. And we will be on our way. Soul Digger writes, haha, it can happen. It can happen, meaning the uh, US government can force Apple to do whatever they want, huh? Yep, I guess that could happen. Looks like Apple's going to fight the good fight. Batman Walker writes, Did you start paying more attention to politics when you started to do political cartoons? Have you always followed politics closely your entire life? I do have to follow them more closely now that I do political cartoons. There's a... Uh, you know, people nowadays, nowadays, you youngsters nowadays... You get to follow the news about just the particular things that interest you. And you can 
go to your particular sites and only look at those topics but for me I need to be a generalist and know a little bit about everything and sometimes draw cartoons about issues that I never heard of or thought about before which means I have to read an entirely different kind of media in an entirely different kind of way than I perhaps would if I could have the conceit of only uh, looking at news stories in areas that pre-interested me. Which means I have to go to curated media, old-fashioned uh, old media like newspapers where some smart guy decides everything in the world that day that he thinks important for you to read. He's your news curator. And the internet takes people away from news curation. In some ways that's a shame because it's nice to have somebody who's smart who uh, sorts through what's important for you. But that's not the way the world goes. So we're going to end up with a lot of people with a very narrow base of knowledge because they have chosen their news media to give them all the information about cute kitty photographs and memes instead of the issues of the day. And so I don't have the opportunity to do that. I've got to go with that old curated media and the old curated media may be doomed. So Baker writes, people can recognize the personas on your drawing. Good. That's the hope. So I've got Assad, Kim Jong-il, Iran's supreme leader, Putin, Xi Jinping and Satan in today's cartoon. All important world leaders. Hmm, Twitch is lagging for me. Is Twitch working okay for all you folks? I see YouTube working okay, and Twitch is hung, so I will relaunch if that helps. Okay, I think I have this line art finished after that bit of cleanup that took uh, almost a half an hour. So I'm going to save as... 400 dpi and this one's going to be cmyk and I will work on that now let's make it cmyk well first let's make it back to uh, bitmap because I did a little bit of stuff in the grayscale mode that might end up uh, with some soft lines that I don't want. So I want it to be hard lined and looking like ink. And we want uh, the image size. Oh, I want it to be CMYK. And I want to select color range. I want it to be 100k. So let's uh, delete then. Oh, this one's going to give me trouble. Sometimes Photoshop resists. So let's uh, do this. Let's put in our layers.
Batman Walker hasn't noticed anything wrong with Twitch. Good. I think I've got Twitch working again. All right. Move this layer to the top. Yeah, my Twitch here is um, bumming out. Okay, so we will select balance, select all, select color range. Okay. Delete. There we go. Now this is 100%. So we will fill 100% black. And that is not 100% black. So let's fill again. I may have to do this a few times. For some reason, sometimes Photoshop likes to resist. And I don't quite know why. Let's see what we got here. That oh, looks okay. So we will select inverse and delete. That should give us a clear background. Wait while it thinks. Go back down here to the bottom. All. Fill. Check my black in this layer again one more time. 95% I've got. Hmm. And it resists. Black color range again. I'm not quite sure why it resists like this. Sometimes I have to go quite a few tries to try to get it to fill with 100% K. If any of you can figure out why that is the case, let me know. So it doesn't always do this, but it does it often enough that it's a hassle. Okay, so let's see what we've got there. 100%. I think that's all right. Okay. So what colors do I want to make this puppy? Start off with the general background overall color. Probably yellow, I think. Make uh, Putin's lettering a little bit better placed. Can move a little bit. Who's beeping me? Oh, news stories. All righty. Now let's make the image size four hundred. That's going to soften up some of those light lines on the top black K layer as it comes down so that I won't lose my light lines. But I don't want uh, don't want to lose that hard edged 
quality, which is why I went through that process. Okay, so silent folks. Let's go with five magenta, 66 yellow. How's that look? Oops. Just laying in a background color here. A little bit darker at the bottom. Oh, I need to remember to always make that top layer multiply. The colors come in underneath it. All right, let's give it some spongy texture. the edges just a little bit. And a little bit lighter for some overall texture, particularly here at the top, a little bit into it. And we can do that with a little bit more yellow at the bottom. Maybe the tiniest little bit of orange at the bottom. And a little bit of uh, brown in the dirt. Some of this yellow, that overspread. Okay, so I'm going to color the shoes in. That shouldn't be a problem. Everyone's so quiet today. Okay, what do I want to do? All right, if you don't know what to do, just color in what you know you got to color in. So I will do some flesh tones. Go with 3, 22, 22. Good base flesh tone. Harden it up, smaller it down. Make that 100% because it's a base. I'll go in here and I'll do the folks who have uh, lighter complexion first. Shar. Looking pretty pink compared to that yellow around it, huh? Wouldn't be too pink.
And let's see, Putin should be pretty much that color. That's just a base flesh. It's going to get lighter and darker from this base color. It does look a little too pink though, doesn't it? 22, 22. Shouldn't be too pink. It's the yellow background that makes it look pinker. You guys are so silent today. Stream silently. All right, is that too pink? I think it is. The white's looking too pink. And select the color. Make it a little less pink. Let's give it a 19, let's say, and fill that. It was a little too pink. Now, I will do uh, 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 for Ayatollah color. That just up to the cyan, didn't it? All right, let's do Ayatollah color. He's looking a little purpler, isn't he? Now, Kim and she color. Let's uh, give them eight, twenty-five, thirty-five. How's that? Them up just a skosh. Oh, look a little purple with all this yellow around them. Yellow being the complement to purple. So surround something with yellow and it's going to make anything look more purple. We'll, uh, we'll fix them up in a minute. Let's give him forty and five. So, yeah, that's better. Go with that color for she, too.
Where was that? I think the pink is still looking wrong. Let's give them just a little more yellow. 28. Yeah, that's better. Okay, the devil. What color shall the devil be? It needs to be kind of a red orange, huh? Fifty-four seventy-two. How about uh, forty sixty? Oops. Sixty sixty. Seventy sixty. Fifty seventy. That's kind of orange. Is that what I want? Let's decide. Uh, let's try it. Let's see if I like the orange. So many choices for devilish skin tone. Yeah, that looks pretty devilish. I think I can go with that. So the devil has a bit of a sunburn. Get him oranged in. I'll do a little bit of uh, light and dark on everybody's flesh tone. Pale. Oh, you silent people. There's the devil's flesh tone. I think maybe the trident needs to be bright red. Give that a try. You can see there's quite a bit of uh, stuff to color in this thing and I'm gonna be here for a while so sit back and relax there's at least an hour in this
a red trident. You guys are so quiet. Okay, let's go with some uh, goat color here. Looks like a good goat color. Locked in. So today everyone is silent. And there are fewer people because I didn't announce this. So it's kind of an exclusive, huh? Why didn't I block in his face? Odd. Okay, there he goes with that. to do the broadest blocking things first. So let's get a couple of business suits in here. No word 69 writes, is the devil's tail and fork meant to look like a dollar sign? I don't know. I haven't thought about it. You know, when you have one line go through an S, that's a peso rather than a dollar. So I guess I'll say no. Although the peso has been dropping. Oh, that's the color for Iran. He wears the brown, right? So uh, she should have a cool gray business suit. Iran needs the brown. And uh, Kim Jong-un is going to be khaki green, I think. Although he often wears that kind of a slate blue. I think perhaps the khaki green is a little better for him. It evokes communism. Communism, militarism, despotism. All good khaki green concepts. Yeah, you gotta watch your double line for a dollar sign and single line for a peso. Okay, let's try some khaki green here. That word writes, many lurkers. They are quiet. You know, I don't like that green. It needs to be 40, 10, 40, 10. Let's get rid of this 10. K. Let's bump up this. Bump up the magenta to 16. How's that? See what I think of that. 
might be better. It's awfully green, isn't it? But I think when it prints, the, that uh, magenta is really going to gum it up more than I'm seeing here on the screen. Locked in. So even if he doesn't wear this khaki green, it suits him. It's a color for cartoon Kim, if not real life Kim. on the same layer. Okay. I think Russia could have uh, khaki pants. Different khaki. Without much chatter today, I'm quieter than usual. Okay. I think this is working. No new follows today. That's just sad. Okay, China. A good gray. 34, 27, 28. Let's go with that odd puppy. Puppy. him blocked in quick. It could suit color, maybe a little blue. Maybe just looking blue because it's surrounded by all the yellow. I've 
made a policy decision that I will block the shoes of people that are wearing suits in in the same color because I found that when I give shoes an independent color from a suit they tend to draw too much attention to themselves. Just a bit of Kegel policy. I think the shoot's a little darker. Yeah, let's give uh, she a little bit. A little bit of shading. He's got a little bit more stuff going on. He should be ready to move on. Getting close to being enough for him. Pop up here to the top and do their eyeballs and teeth. Everybody's so quiet today. Oh, I've got uh, chroma key stuff going on. That. My apologies for that. Well, I've not fixed yet. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, eyeballs. The whites mapped out. I'll get their tongues. Oh, Ayatollah here has some holidays in his flesh tone. We can't have that. So, you quiet people, you have nothing to say? They're just too little to coloring a drawing that is interesting. Okay, white beard. Up 
here. So that's right. There's a little bit of gray in his dark eyebrows. Okay. And he's got a kind of a gray. Sorry about that bump. Scarf here. Has a bit of a checkerboard pattern on it. lighter in there for a little bit of uh, cross check Okay, I guess that works. A little bit of darker gray in the turban. Eyeball. Oops. Should I do that or should I go with the suit color? I should probably go with the suit color, huh? Let's do that. Suit color. That's a little better. Although I think the turban is jet black and not really a kind of derivative of brown what the hell it makes him look a little better so i'm a slave to fashion and a last little bit of uh, flesh tone fix there and there. Erased over there. Yeah, that. Give them a little bit of tongue. Too much tongue. But, uh, five of cyan, and uh, there we go. That's a little better tongue. Just 
still pretty uh, pink. Plenty of tongue to go around. Hello, Diaz Mata. Nice to see you here. Things are pretty quiet here today. Okay, what do we need next? Oh, Syria needs a suit. What color to make his suit? It'd be a different gray. Probably needs to just be a different gray. How about uh, 20, 20, 20. 30, 20, 20. 30, 25, 25, how's that? 36, 25, 25. All right, I like that better. Okay. Syria. Oh, well, it looks like Kegel.com, which is down to hackers today, which unfortunately hasn't been unusual lately. We put up a maintenance page that is running my Twitch feed. So people can't get to Kegel.com, but they get the Twitch feed. So maybe we'll get a few more people on here. Doesn't seem to be happening yet. But thank you for that, Theo. Looks like I've got another hour on this thing. Yep, Kegel.com is down to hackers today. Oh, Dias Mata, thank you for the kind words on this cartoon. need a black color for the iPhones. I think they're probably going to be more blue, even though they aren't really blue. Blue in the sense that comic book hair is blue. Bring that down. We'll do some... Uh, details in Bashar's suit. In a while. In case you're wondering what's going on here, 
this is uh, me at my Wacom tablet. Probably not the best view to watch me do this stuff. I'll put it back in the other view, but just so you get a sense of uh, here I am sitting at my drawing table, drawing on the Wacom tablet. That's what you're seeing. A little bit of darker for Bashar. Some of these spots. Oops. It's bad. Hello, Kid Scoop News. Did I get a good response from editors of the Supreme Court vacancy cartoon? You know, editors are an unresponsive bunch, and I hardly ever hear from them when they're happy. I hear from them when they're unhappy. So, uh, no, I don't expect to hear from them. So what's going on here that things are not working for me? Huge tablet. It's the 22 inch tablet. Oh, it's because it's got one in one pixel diameter is why nothing was happening. Oh, we got some funny squiggly lines going on here that I'm not aware of just because of that mistake. But down there. Give him a little better contrast here and there. Oh, he needs his shoes too. I was wondering why it wasn't showing up, and it was because I had a one pixel brush for some mistake. All right, let's follow my uh, my um, policy of giving him shoes similar to the suit color. Kegel shoes policy. Same with his shoestrings. I'll go a little darker. Give him some shoe detail. Okay. Now, what do I need? I could do uh, details in Little Kim's suit. Try that. as much as he needs. His shoes need to be their own color. Uh, 
I think he would always wear black shoes, but I prefer brown on this. Okay, fix this little bit here. Bit of shoot a tail here. Okay, what do I need now? Let's do a little bit of uh, detail in Putin's pants. I'm going to need to move on to doing flesh tones. A little bit of, uh, I think I'll start on the devil's flesh tones. Well, let's give uh, Thai Tola some gray shoes. Can't see what I'm doing. Why not? Coloring the Ayatollah's shoes. Gray. Yeah, I have my stuff going on over here at the left. Ah, move the screen. Oh, you moved screen, my bad. Why is my moving the screen, your bad? Hmm. Huh. That would be my bad. We'll shoot a to detail for a Kamini there. All right, Putin's pant tail. Let's go to that. But how did that happen? Get that and that. Oh. Capacity 100% or 100%. Or that layer, see if that helps. 41, that, Put under there, okay, that worked, probably all the detail he needs, what do I do for his shoes, we can just have a bit of darker, for the shoes, move them over there. Close enough and different enough, I think. Okay. Kid Scoop News on YouTube writes, Between this cartoon and the Bernie and Hillary Cupid cartoon last week, you've drawn a lot of cell phones in February. Somehow I think I'm destined to draw a lot of cell phones. Nature of the world, huh? Okay, well, we'll have some... Devil detail here, that's not looking good. Okay, devil detail. Maybe all he needs. Let's give him some flesh detail. Bring the flesh down to there. There. Now, why is that not showing up? Because I'm still in the friggin... I 
eyedropper tool. Okay, eyedropper tool, select, select, select. Connected, select. And we'll darken them over to there. Switch to the brush tool. Now it's working. This is the light. Kids Scoop News right? selfie portraits. I guess you could kind of look at them all as taking selfies if you want. But uh, they're talking about iPhones, so I thought I should give them iPhones. They're obsessed with the iPhones. The iPhones is... Uh, society getting out of their control. I'm occasionally bumping my, uh, sorry about that, my uh, microphone here. I have the microphone leaning out over my Wacom tablet. That's ah, probably all he needs. He can have white horns. Okay, I probably need to start doing a little flesh, huh? Everything still looking good for you guys on Twitch? Because my Twitch here is, has a spinning wheel. Okay, how about black hair? What do we want to do for black hair? Let's, let's try 66, 44, 44. How's that? Well, it's looking pretty green, huh? 25. Got a good black hair. 50. <laughs> Give it a little bit of regular black. That's better. That's kind of a comic book black hair, huh? Like uh, how Bruce Wayne's hair is blue, but it's supposed to be black. Kid Scoop News writes, It might be a problem on my end, but I have a hard time getting Twitch to stream consistently. Much better luck on YouTube. Well, I have to say, over here on my laptop to my right, where you see me sometimes look off to my right, I've got both Twitch and YouTube running. And Twitch has a spinning reel and YouTube is fine. So I've got to agree with you, Kid Scoop News. Today it looks like uh, YouTube is demonstrating its streaming superiority over Twitch. Char has the black hair as well. All right. 
I'm going to give a little bit of funky, funky sponge to the Ayatollah's beard here. Edge him up just a little, a little bit of odd uh, randomness to his beard. Let's give him some uh, oddly random gray as well. Kid Scoop News loves the funky sponge. Yeah, that's my really only, only texture tool that I use. And I know that if I bought the new Photoshop, I would enjoy the brushes and I would use different textures. And those just aren't really uh, available to me in my old uh, Photoshop CS4. But I've gotten used to using this uh, sponge rubber stamp tool that with the sponge texture that I made for myself and uh, just gotten so comfortable with it it kind of develops as a as a look so I haven't been that motivated to switch but I know I should and I am uh, as nervous about uh, switching to the cloud version of Photoshop. So I switched to the cloud version of Microsoft Office and I every time I back up I get uh, I get it wanting to again verify that I actually bought it. So I end up verifying that thing probably three or four times a week which is a pain in the butt and if I don't happen to have the internet available when Microsoft Word wants to verify then I can't use Microsoft Word and that would be lousy to be stuck not being able to do my work in Photoshop which I understand works the same way So the CS4 I can use anywhere without having to worry that it's suddenly going to ask me to check my credentials like friggin Microsoft Word okay I think they're looking okay I've been working on this an hour and 44 minutes so far I always uh, am overly optimistic about how long this stuff takes all right let's do some light flesh on a sod we'll bring him up to there capacity there 23 uh, up from 23 a little bit. Let's see how this looks. So a little bit of nose whitener there. A little bit of forehead whitening there. A little bit of cheek. A little bit of chin. Just little hints of lighter spots. Knuckles. Hand there. Same with Putin. A little bit of forehead, top of the nose to ya, chin, top of his man boob, the other man boob, a little bit of the top of the beer belly. All right. Kid Scoop News writes, I've been hesitant to join Adobe Cloud for the same reasons you mentioned, but probably will have to at some point what you gonna do they really demand that wherever you are that you're gonna work that you have an internet connection that's working otherwise you're screwed and um, 
It's terrible. I don't always have a good internet connection working when I want to work. Hello, Ginger and Juice. Nice to see you here. Boy, it looks like the audience on Twitch has really dropped off. I think, uh, I think Twitch is having streaming trouble. Only two viewers on Twitch? Does that sound right? I know I've got Ginger and Juice and Diaz Mata and myself. That's three. That's not making sense. So I think there are tech troubles on uh, Twitch today. Okay. Bashar and Putin. Let's do a little darker flesh this time. We'll put you down there on another layer. Pump it up a bit. Oh, ginger and juice. My, uh, you make me blush. Yeah, Bashar, what a bastard. Yeah, Putin's got the starks around the eyes as well. what I can do there. A little bit under the chin. That might be all he needs. He looks pretty sleazy, doesn't he? Lighten this up a little. He really doesn't have any hair on his chest. I think he shaves. I think he does the manscaping. Okay. Ayatollah. It's a dark Ayatollah color. Now, if I was painting this, instead of doing the Photoshopping, I would, uh, I would be picking much more sophisticated colors. I'd be thinking of going to the, the uh, compliments and doing reflecting light and all that stuff that you learn to paint in art school. But in Photoshop, you just bring up this little box and you pop around and that's so easy and it looks right enough that you don't do a lot of the fancy color stuff that I used to do when I painted. Even though I could with a little bit more uh, a little bit more time commitment. All right. You know, it doesn't take a lot of uh, shading on these guys to be enough. Okay, there's a light color for President Xi. Be enough. And bring him up a bit. So a little bit lighter forehead, a little bit lighter nose, other nasal wing, top of there, top of the chin. Top of the cheeks. Nose, 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 nose. I think Twitch is frozen for me. Boy, Twitch is, uh, Twitch is having the troubles today. You know, if you're having trouble with Twitch, like I am here, you can go to uh, find me on YouTube pretty easily. So Ginger and Juice, are you a cartoonist? G 
Ginger and Juice. Ginger sounds like a girl's name. Can't tell with Juice, though. Okay, let's get back to standard. There's a little bit of color for you. 20% I've got. All right. Darker spots. One thing about putting shade in hands is that uh, hands are so complicated you can do kind of a lot of muck on the hands and it still looks right. Both, uh, oh, and I've got the same uh, flesh tone going here on little Kim. a little bit of uh, light shadow and it just gives you a sense that there's a little bit of uh, reality and modeling going on ginger and juice writes gin and juice is a famous snoop dog song i'm ginger headed so i came up with the silly name i'm not a cartoonist not even an artist per se i respect artists and your credentials. So here I am, Snoop Dogg. Oh, so you're here from my resume. Ha 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 ha. I can tell you a resume doesn't mean a hell of a lot for a cartoonist because you can just glance at a cartoonist's work in an instant and decide if you're interested in it. You know, the whole notion of having a resume for a cartoonist is kind of absurd. On the other hand, what a great advantage we have over writers and dancers and actors and musicians in the respect that uh, all you have to do is take a quick look and you can see what we do. You don't have to commit to reading the book or reading the article, spending the time listening to the music, watching a tape of the dancing. There's no audition. You just glance at the portfolio quickly and there you're done. That is a great advantage for a cartoonist. But sometimes, too, that is a limiting factor for the aspiring cartoonists who uh, suffer from a judgment of their work. So uh, what can I say? It's good and it's a stressful burden. OK, let's nab a bit of that. Darken his lips. It's kind of nasty to have the lips be kind of that color, huh? Go with that. This will be lip color for Lil Kim. Yeah, I think that's kind of nasty. Nasty lips. Could be a little darker. There's some nasty lips. <laughs> and we can have the same nasty lips on President She. Yeah, I think that's nasty. Orange lips are nasty. Uh, I think I don't need that. Go with the lip that way. Oh, that looks like him, huh? Boy, they're nasty. All right. What do I need to do next? Putin's hair color is the same as Trump's.
It's Goop News writes, The hands of these guys are especially mucky. Nasty lips opening the act for a funky sponge. Yeah, I do funky sponge. I do nasty lips. It looks like uh, little Kim here is a smoker. A smoker's lips. Maybe he is. Anyway, I like the nasty. Let's see. Have I done enough flesh tone? Do I have to worry about anything more? I need to do those f cell phones. Let's call those 50, 10, 30. Not good for a cell phone. 20, 40, 10. Maybe that's better. Let's try that. I'm on their own level. Capacity 100, harden it up. Go in a little closer so that I can get the lines right. I'll put that there. Just the old cartoon convention of making something that's jet black blue for no good reason except that uh, it prints. I tell you, Kid Scoop News, first thing I did when I got to this drawing this morning was I thought that uh, little Kim needed more face to facial features ratio. So I made his face smaller, kept his head the same size, and that made him look a lot more like little Kim. So, a bit of the tip of the hat to Photoshop for uh, that caricature change. Okay, now what? Now I should deal with their uh, their speech balloons. How do I want to do that? Two, three, four, five, six speech balloons. I could do three and three. I could do 100% yellow. Why don't we try that? Speech balloons one. Do it on its own layer in case I don't like it. Speech one. We'll call that 80 yellow. If I like 80 yellow. If not, it's on its own layer, so it's easy to change. I'll alternate with an orange. And I think I'll need a little more texture here behind the speech balloons. It's Goop News writes, he looks a little bit like baby Huey in real life. 
That would be Lil Kim. He's probably the most evil bastard here. Perhaps he beat Satan. I could alternate with white speech balloons. That would be dull. Trouble with coloring your speech balloons is that it can tend to uh, give too much importance to something that doesn't deserve that much attention from color. But I think here it's okay. By and large, I tend to be pretty liberal in the way that I color my speech balloons. Ginger and Juice writes, it's amazing to me how accurately you draw these guys spot on. Oh, well, thank you, Ginger and Juice. You know, the problem is that I think even with these recognizable bastard despots, most of the readers don't know what, what they look like, and most cartoonists would label them with their names. I tried to take one step back from that to label them with their country's names. That is one tiny step. I usually don't label uh, speech balloons. Let's go with 33 there. How's that look? I have no new followers today. That's kind of sad. Hey, if any of you are watching that are not followers, please follow me. I need the follows. I could color this whole cartoon and get no new follows. That would just be tragic. Now, if I did more than just a couple of colors for the speech balloons, if I did them in M&M colors, then the whole cartoon would be about the M&M colored speech balloons. So part of it is how much color can you get away with before you're paying too much attention to the color? I'm doing pretty simple color here. Not a lot of sophisticated stuff going on. I rely on my line drawing to carry the art. And I don't want to detract from the line drawing, so the, the color is not gonna, gonna be too complex, but it needs to be bright. If it wasn't bright, I'd get complaints from editors. Your colors are dull which they do. We don't like for you to use browns, Daryl, they say. <sighs> okay, let's do a little more background here. How about some orange? Yeah, 
city up. 110. All right, let's see what this looks like. Yeah, I drew on that level. Did I draw on that one? No. Okay. Ooh, that's too much. Just need a little bit of texture there. I think I'm going to need a little bit of white texture on top of everybody. Let's add a new layer. That'll be my white sponge. Give everybody a little texture layer. Capacity 30% maybe. Bring that down a bit. Let's give everybody a little texture. A little bit of sponge on a sod. A little bit of highlights on little Kim. A little dark. I mean a little opaque. on your run. A little bit of, nah, I don't think I want that, but I'll put it on his pants. China. Okay. Hello, typical rimps. Nice to see you here. I need you to follow typical rimps. I don't have any follows today. And that's just a tragedy. And I think I might be finished. Am I finished? Is there anything else I need to do here? I could give a little bit of pink in the cheeks, which is something I usually do, that I don't think I have considered today. Devil could have a little bit of uh, grunge going on. I could give him some orange is that good we have a little bit of red that would need to go way down here touch of color, little touch of texture. All right, I think I will give Bashar a pink cheek. A little bit of pink makes people look alive. So we want to kill the C, make that 36. He's just got a little hint of pink in the cheeks. We'll drop that down, soften that up. Star Clark. No, I don't hide dirty things in my pictures, Star Clark. Ooh, that's too dark. Let's move that back. My opacity was way up. Don't do hidden things in the pictures. And if I did, it wouldn't be hidden sex things. This little bit of pink just to give them life.
You can see it's very subtle, but it uh, it does make them look alive. Scoop News writes, has your drawing style changed very much through the years? Uh, yeah. It evolves. Different than it used to be. I think I might just be, uh, butting too much with it now. Maybe I'm done. I think so. I'm going to go with this. Now I'm going to need to do a black and white version. So let's uh, save this as a JPEG copy. We'll see how big it is. One oh nine six one oh nine six, which really means nothing. It's the one thousand ninety sixth cartoon I've drawn since I uh, started uh, giving the cartoons numbers. This will be a MYK nine save. Oof. Nine. See how that looks. It's 3.7 megs. No, it's not. That's yesterday's cartoon. Why is that not saving there? There it is. 3.6 megs. That should be okay. I go a little bit over my 3.5 megs limit, and the system will still accept it. Okay, let's see. How uh, this looks as a black and white. Mode grayscale. Don't merge. Okay. I think it's going to look flat, and I'm going to need to lighten them up. Boy, it doesn't. <sighs> that is just wrong. So this black and white version is going to take me a few minutes. I'm going to have to take a real short break and come right back. So uh, don't go away. I think I'll take... Um, So I will be back in 10 minutes, and um, I will finish doing this black and white version. Just need a quick break, and uh, see you again in just a few minutes.
Okay, I'm back faster than you thought. And uh, let's get going again. Okay. Poor Twitch isn't keeping up today. All right, I'm losing my background texture. And uh, these guys are all too dark. So let's merge our layers. Deal with it as one big bunch of muck. Add a few new layers here. But here, I'm going to lighten everything up. It's looking better. Probably looks about as good as I need for it to look. Okay. Put in a little white on those flesh tones. Lighten up the lightest parts. Seeing as this is just black and white. You can't just uh, choose grayscale and make your color cartoon into a black and white cartoon for print. You gotta reconsider everything. <sighs> I can reconsider some of this Satan here too. Okay, background color. Oh, that was a mistake. It needs to go lighter. It was behind a color that was making it not appear as light and not appear as dark. Now, well, 
phone is ringing, but they didn't leave a caller ID, so I don't answer. I think I'm going to need to come in here and draw on top of these speech balloons with white because I forgot to make the yellow turn into white and the yellow is just going to run like 5% and it's going to look crummy so I'm going to wipe this up just make sure it's clean in case it didn't come out completely white in fact I can test that let's see what white it is 111 okay how about we go over everything and select one one one. Okay, delete that. Kid Scoop News writes: Do newspapers tend to buy more color or more black and white cartoons these days? I think the majority of newspapers still print in black and white, but the ones that do color are so adamant about color that. Um, they will never print you if your cartoon is in only black and white and you don't do a color version. But if you do a color version, black and white newspapers will uh, make it grayscale and print from the color version. So the market for the cartoons is so much reduced by not doing a color version, you just got to do a color version. Maybe a fourth of the papers print them in color. And of course the web wants color. To get a black and white version on the web you get complaint. Am I happy with this for black and white? I think so. I can just be double sure on this white. Just to be anal about it. Because it Things show up in print that you don't see on the screen, and I'm not seeing it, and I think it's okay. But I see it as a potential problem area. Let's see what that looks like. That looks like 111. All right, let's go to everything again. Select color range, zero. That should be all the 111. And we will fill with zero zero zero. Fill okay. Now did that get rid of all the one one one? Let's check and see. Box oh, okay. Boy, poor Twitch. That's why there's so few people watching, I think. The stream's just not working. All right. This looks good. So I will save as. No layers as a copy. One zero nine six B Gray Tiff. Good. That's the black and white version. Um I think I'm done. Anything else I need to do? Everybody good? Looks like uh streaming problems of Twitch have people offline, so I'm saying goodbye to not very many of you today, but hey, it was a pleasure, and uh, thank you so much for for being here, folks. You've seen uh, seen this from start to finish, yesterday and today. Today, I spent 
two and a half hours coloring this puppy my goodness that is a lot but there was a lot in this one to color so uh, hey thank you so much folks i will see you with the next cartoon um urge your buddies to follow and uh